Welcome to the behind the scenes of my fall look. Starting off with that first color, the first coat. Everything I use today will be linked below, but the polishes are from Beatles Gel Polish Collection. The first coat I apply really thin um, because I will be applying a second coat. It's not shown in this video just for time's sake. Um, but this just helps keep everything really smooth by doing two coats instead of trying to pile on a lot of color in that first coat. A tip as you watch this video is you notice when I apply all these colors, I don't start at the very base of the cuticle. I start a little above it and then I push the color down to help create that perfect shape. Another tip is that if you do get it on your cuticle or your skin, use a dry brush first, as you'll see I'm about to do, to wipe off the bulk of the polish. Then if it's still there or staining your skin, then you can use a little bit of acetone or alcohol on the brush to wipe away the rest. But really the dry brush technique has been working really well for me. Okay, applying my last color and off camera, I apply second coats to all these colors. Except for the glitter color, I apply about three to four coats for that one. Okay, next I'll be applying the matte top coat. And just remember between all these layers, I am using the UV lamp not shown on camera. And with the matte coat, just make sure it's pretty thin of a layer. Sometimes if it's too thick, it may not mattify correctly. I mattify all the nails except for the glittery one. And just to note, I am wearing the gloves. That helps protect my hand against the UV lamp. Also, if you get any of the polishes on your hand, make sure to wipe that off before the UV lamp is used because that can cause some irritation on your skin. I will use the UV lamp and you will see in this next clip, it's matte. Now time for the design. I'm using the Beatles Fine Liner. And the tip with this is to try to get as much excess polish off the brush. So when you first take it out of the tube, really kind of wipe it off. And then also even on a palette, just make some strokes of lines with that brush to help get a lot of that excess off. And that will help create a nice thin look. And then when I'm doing that horizontal, I'm kind of moving my nail and that will help kind of keep that line nice and straight as well. So for the look, I'm using some glossy shiny lines on top of the mat. Here I'm using a Beatles brush, but it's not the same as the black where it's sitting in a bottle pre-soaked and things like that. This was just a plain clean brush that I dipped that same brown color in. And once again, for all these lines, I am turning my nail to help carry that line along um, to make it a little bit easier. So for line work, just remember these tips. Um, always try to wipe away the excess before applying on your nail and do a couple of swipes on a palette to get the correct size you like. Always start out thinner and then go thicker. And if you do get it on your cuticle, just go ahead and use the dry brush and then use the movement of your hand and nail as a guide to help create those lines as well. Lastly, I go back over all these glossy lines with top glossy gel coat. In theory, I could have just used the top gel coat on the nails that had the same color. So this brown one, the white one, and my black thumb. Of course, um, not for the black line on the tan one, but I kind of liked using its own color first and then the gel coat just because it gave a little more volume and thickness to these lines. In the comments, let me know if you like these voiceover tutorials or if you just prefer to watch the video. That would be really helpful. Thank you so much for watching.